Hey everybody, um, I want to do a real quick video uh, reference to Tamarack 100. A lot of a lot of us own these uh, entry level uh, fishing kayak. Got two of them here, they've been great. Um, and we all love to mod our kayaks and have a good time for fishing. As you can see on here, I've already got that stadium seat like many of you do. If you don't, get one. Okay, it makes a world of difference. That little pad down there. Anyway, so um, uh, I decided I have been unable to find anyone who's ever put a rudder on one of these. They don't make a rudder adapter kit or a mount or anything for them. So uh, just got done installing a rudder kit on a Big Fish 105 for three waters and uh, thought, well, you know, it'd be kind of cool to do one on a Tamarack. So, so anyway, as a lot of you uh, know, you can order these through Walmart and other places like that. And uh, so what I did is I ordered a rudder. Uh, through Walmart. Go to walmart.com, type in kayak rudder, bada bang. Pretty much the same rudder kit by a bunch of different sellers at different prices. This particular one I got for about 40 bucks. That was like $40.97 or something. Anyway, it says with foot controls. There's no foot controls with it, and that's okay because due to the foot wells in this thing, you really can't mount the tracks in here anyway. And if you were to like the leftover tracks and three waters, I could have put them in here, but the problem is then you can't put your feet out very wide. You end up being way in, and you know you don't have anything to brace your feet. It's just really kind of goofy. Uh, so I didn't like that idea. And I thought about a T-bar setup for steering internal using the uh, quarter-inch drip line for guides and whatever. It started getting too involved, and I thought I'd like to do something that somebody could literally throw on here in an afternoon and uh, slap it on here and hit the water. Uh, no real special tools required. I think I use a, let's see, a jigsaw, uh, a drill. Uh, yeah, there you go. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through and show you what I did here. Uh, hold this thing down. So, um, what I'll do is I'll grab the camera and I'll, and I'll walk through. Everything on it does work, albeit low budget. <laughs> so with that said, here we go. Okay, so here we have our Tamarack 800 on my project trailer, and uh, so here is the retract cord, okay, right here, and it's in the cleat. This this cord and ball and this little cleat right here comes with uh, the kit. You also get your uh, guy wire or your steering wires, two of those, and you of course get just the rudder and all in the rudder's drafts it's pretty good nice and low it's not crazy thick but uh yeah that's i think for this style of kayak it's gonna work just fine so anyway as you can see what i did is i took um took some uh, quarter inch thick aluminum plate split it up the middle of the jigsaw i was talking about drilled a couple holes in it and uh ran some scotty uh well nuts in here mounted this to the well nuts and uh, the reason I split that is because of the shape right here, you know, the shape just kind of arc. So what I did is I just took these and put this end in a vise, grab this little large crescent wrench and just kind of arc each side a little bit to fit the contour of the body, and then screwed them down. Good to go. Drill another hole here for the shaft, goes down through. And just an assortment of whatever I could find laying around. A couple of washers and, a, you know, in here. It comes with this little clip in here. And uh, that's a piece of copper pipe I used to use for shim. I may at some point come back and put a brace from here up to this to get a little more stability. I don't know that it really needs it, but just for fun I might. So that's something to think about, you know, kind of a like that, you know what I mean? So anyway, so the idea is to use what we got. So it comes off the, uh, off the rudder. You can see I just tied a couple knots right here on each side. And then it runs up to the existing on these you know there's a if you look close there's a there's a hole here that's a guide and plastic no abrasion and the hook so what I did is I just undid the bungee cord and uh, ran it I have one of these mounted on here reached up underneath there and put washers and bolted it down I actually use that for a carrying handle now which is great with the rudder because this the little stock handles gone so and that works fantastic it's got a big plate underneath there it's solid as a rock so anyway you run up these on each side up these guides and then and you'll notice the steering lines stay really low to the deck which is awful convenient because when you pop off your stock seat uh, you have these left over 
which are nice and rounded and smooth. So it comes around like this and you grab this little thing. You see I just ran the extra line, put some shrink tubing on it, shoved in a piece of PVC. Nice and easy to grab right, right, you know, right here where you sit. And then you just go like this, you just slide it back and forth. And lo and behold, check that out. Works great. Yeah, cheesy, certainly, but it works. So, and then also the other thing I did, uh, you don't have to do this, of course, but I wanted to. A lot of people, when they stow these things, uh, they just they just pull the uh, pull the release line and let her fly. And this one re this one is spring loaded to retract. Okay, so when they do, this thing comes slamming down, which is like not cool. So I added this little piece of rubber right here, this piece of scrap rubber, cut it out. So that the cord would be able to, you know, the retract cord would be able to go right through it. And I just hot glued the dang thing in there. So now when it comes up, I'll show you here. I'll release it off the cleat right here. Like this. And da -da -da -da. there it is. And when you want to deploy it, see if I can do this one hand without sliding this thing off the trailer because it's not mounted on the trailer. You actually got to pull fairly firmly because you're going against that spring. Try that again. I don't know if I got that. So, stow away. And then, comes out in the cleat, and you're in like business. So that's it. And then, when, of course, you know, you got a lot of the string left over, so just kind of toss that aside or whatever so it's out of your way. And that's that. So hopefully this helps somebody out. It's kind of fun doing pain in the butt at some moments trying to figure stuff out but all in all if this at least gives you a general idea of some you know some ideas for your own design then go for it all right man take care